everybody. I'm Brad Nessler along with Dick Vitale and welcome to the beautiful island of Maui for this first round game of the EA Sports Maui Invitational Tournament between the Marquette Golden Eagles and the UCLA Bruins. We've got two excellent shooting guards set to go head to head tonight. Number 20 is the great outside shooter that seems to have unlimited range when he gets it going. His counterpart tonight is a guy that likes to lead by example for his team. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The Bruins know this could go either way, Dick. What are the keys to their success tonight? These are the keys for me, Brad. First, get the ball on the interior. See if he can get that big man into foul trouble. Secondly, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Finally, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. There's the fake. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. You're going to be seeing this one all week. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. For two, doesn't go. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The small forward handles the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Inside, he stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside that was so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive skill. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to pack it inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two. That's seven unanswered. Inside. Entry pass in the paint. In and out. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He's got to move the ball. He makes the block. Children for three. Fed the low block. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. Makes the shot. He makes his second shot. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for the foul. the perimeter. Spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart with a bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. 
He makes a nice shot fake. For two. Ante does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. The center handles the feed. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Stolen away. They're off into transition. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Danielson is feeling good. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And the ball goes out of play. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby, that's his name. I like that in the player. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. The fake. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. <laughs> Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Shoots. It's good. The skip pass is picked off. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He'll regroup the offense. Too much. That's a foul. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Misses the second shot. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You're too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. Gets his third. perimeter on the outside oh, poor job poor job offensively I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> time for the ball on the deck where's he going Rice receives the ball great play to take that to the basket on the dribble gives it up Double team now, bad angle. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Oh. 
Obvious foul. I've seen you out there with pom poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Copeland receives the pass. A high screen. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. He keeps the dribble as they reset. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Ball goes out of play. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He up fakes. He shoots from the baseline. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Watch here. job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the top of the circle, sinks it. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for a good shot. The crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Controlling the ball. Good job defensively. Moving it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They move it into the front court. Gets the rejection. Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. Hey, Big East basketball, Brad. It's an interesting mix of teams. You've got up-tempo teams, teams that like to play in the half court, and pressing teams. Well, I guess if you're playing this conference, you've got to be running for just about anything and everything. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. Good 
job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Good fake. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. UCLA have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. He intercepts it. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunity. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. Thanks, Aaron. Tanner in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They push it up on the break. From left of the circle, he makes the shot. They scored seven in a row. Picked off. Gave it up. Whistle blown. That's a backcourt infraction. You can't make those kind of mistakes in games like these, Brad. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Looks at the three. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He is going to the line. He got it. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from long range. Buried it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. On the outside. Intercepted. Number 14 with the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Pump fakes. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now. And you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He's got some room. 
He bombs from outside. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Up and inside. Takes away the pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They scored eight in a row. off the pass on the dribble gives it up good defensive stance there against the spin move well the key is to beat him to the spot and he did a great job he anticipated that spin move they really seem to be letting this one get away Dick. yeah there's been a breakdown somewhere they need to talk this one over brad See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Picks off the lazy pass for the bucket. UCLA are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Top of the circle. It sticks. Look at this effort. Gave it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the first. Got them both. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Fakes a jumper. With the jump hook. Doesn't go. Let's it fly. Way off target. And the ball goes out of bounds. Picked out of the air. He launches the bomb. He gets it to fall. That's Mason. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores despite the hack. Double team. Run right at the screen again. What did I say? 
UCLA are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Oh, Got a nice oh. screen. Fakes the shot. For two. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. With the jump hook. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. Up and inside. From downtown, he shows a sweet touch. For the bucket, and he scores it off the glass. Shots there if he wants it. Opportunity for two for one. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. Up fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. Goes to the line, shooting two. Got it from the free throw line. Gets two at the charity strike. Wide open for the shot. Missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Throws it up, hoping for the best. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. There. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Time, the Golden Eagles are down by eight. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. UCLA really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. I tell you, there's no doubt they're PT peers. They're prime time performers. They like the big moment, and they make big plays. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. Looking for a good shot. 
kicks it out. The shooting guard gets the pass. He throws it up from downtown. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. They work it around the perimeter. They're right on top of that pass. The ball goes out of play. Everybody's happy, including the school mascot. Well, the mascot's doing a little dance, baby, celebrating a lot of jubilation. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Pressure that basketball. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Looking for a good shot. High post flashes for the opportunity. The center gets the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Ooh, look at the shot block. He got some contact. Nice hops. The Golden Eagles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. the feed. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. The ball goes out of bounds. Side. He gives him the fake. He shoots. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get the ball. They'll work it around the arc. From three-point range. Marquette are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. transition goes up for two picks off the pass oh what a great job transition offense poor job defensively you don't get back don't stop the ball and they're allowed to convert get the number game going stolen ball and the ball goes out of bounds Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. For the bucket, and in and out. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets a good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He looks for the bomb. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. The point guard takes the pass. Puts it 
it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. The power forward with the ball. Goes up with it. Can't connect. There's the block. They get out on the break. Looking for contact. Easy one. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Tries to get the D to bite. Gets it back out. Tries the three. Drains it. Oh, what a strip, Red. For the deuce. Easy one. On the outside. Tries for two. Finger roll. Court defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle. Dude. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He intercepts it, buries it. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. It's a fast break possibility. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a flash from the high post. He dials long distance. He misses it. the ball up and inside for the bucket and in and out got the high pick goes up for two UCLA is showing a bit of a run here things are going their way right now Gave it up. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Oh, what a hard screen there. Trying to draw the foul, and he scores it off the glass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Golden Eagles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when it was up and under. He seals off the defensive player. He intercepts it. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. The Pac-10 Conference has been the home for many very, very talented basketball players. There's definitely some talent in this conference, Brad. There are also many current pros who played for Pac-10 schools like Arizona, Cal, UCLA. The list goes on and on, buddy. the lazy pass. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. For the deuce. He puts it in with contact and all. Great defense. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Executes the baby hook. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Intercepted. Tries for two. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spots, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Working it around the perimeter. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Takes away the pass. the dribble gives it up tries for two I love the sky hook you cannot block that shot he gets that ball in deep hey Brad why don't more guys use it big man spins down in the low block does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other gave it up that spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He shows the sweet touch. The Golden Eagles are trailing by 18. Dribble gives it up. Jumped in front to 
take it away. Transition opportunity coming up for two. The Bruins have got to continue to get in the ball. Daddy's on fire. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Jumps into the defender. Doesn't go. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. We'll go to the line. He hits the first. Second shot is good. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Knocks it down. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points. It doesn't matter. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Sinks it. Spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they... His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Down court pass. He shoots from right of the circle. He missed. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. For the deuce. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. He attempts the trifecta, gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Way off target. Hey, 
Gave it up. Picked out of the air. on the shot clock. He shoots from left of the circle. He doesn't get the hoop. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Got some room. They work it around the perimeter. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's a double team. Turnaround jumper. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Loads a three. He hits it. Roll that one back. On the dribble, gives it up. Hey, the defense is doing a great job of denying any shot opportunities off those screens. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Goes out of play. What a play! These kids are fired up now. And if you're gonna celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. Dick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we'd hoped for. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, that's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit. Check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. UCLA blows out their opponent. After a game like that, it's hard to believe that these two teams were close in the standings. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.